Welcome back, Yadam Moose here, and today we're going to be taking a look at stratagems, more specifically the Eagles and the Orbitals. Now, we're going to be leaving out Smoke Strikes and the EMS Strike, as they're meant to be more defensive than offensive, and so we're going to be leaving those out of this video. But, as far as the other ones, we are going to be categorizing them in four different ways. First, how likely are they to take out a crowd? One being the least likely, five being the most likely. Two, can they take out heavies? Now, with that, we are only using them one time. As most things have a cooldown, we're going to give it one chance to take down a heavy and see if it can do it. Because obviously you can hit them multiple times, but you know, one would be optimal as far as heavies go. So the third thing is going to be, can they take out outposts or nests? Yes or no. And the last thing is, how dangerous is it against teammates? One being the least dangerous and five being the most dangerous. Now, keep in mind, this is not a meta video or things that you should be using. This is meant to be more informational on each of these categories to help you determine what you should or what you might wanna bring in a certain situation, depending on the objective that you're doing. With that out of the way, let's get right into the video. First up is the Orbital Galling Barrage. This stratagem is gonna be best used in tight crowds and best avoided on trying to take out heavies and nests here. After many attempts, I wasn't able to rack up an outstanding number of consecutive kills with this, and it just doesn't do the job on armored targets. I would say this specializes in mild crowd control, and the danger to teammates is very low as well, so it can be a decent choice when bringing it to take on crowds of enemies. I would give this a 3 in crowd control, a uh, no to taking out heavy enemies, and this can take out bug nests with perfect shots, but it's not advised and has 2 in the danger for teammates as you can hurt them, but it's a relatively safe choice. And this is something you get pretty early on, so it's not bad when you're taking on crowds of enemies, especially early in the game, so overall it's a pretty okay choice. Next, the Orbital Air Burst Strike. This is one of my personal favorites. This thing is a jack of all trades and can take things out with really good placement. When called in, this strike comes down three times with a short delay in between, and it can clear enemies whether grouped or slightly spread out. It's pretty good at both. This can take out heavies at the right angle and placement, but it's not super consistent. Uh, it is possible to take out nests and outposts, but requires a good throw and a bit of luck, to be completely honest. Uh, this poses a pretty high risk to teammates, especially with the Stratagem Scatter modifier, so a call out with this one is definitely recommended. These next two kind of feel like they were added to the game as a meme, honestly. The first one is the 380mm Barrage, which is meant to be used on bases, but usually it's going to miss most of the things you're trying to hit, and it may take out a few nests or outposts if you're lucky. This thing poses more of a risk to you and your teammates more than any enemies, honestly, and it's a very high risk for not really much reward. It can take out heavies and do some decent crowd control when it actually hits, but this thing doesn't do anything in particularly well besides accidental team wipes. So honestly, if you're gonna use this, I would highly recommend that your teammates get way far away and nowhere near you when you toss that thing. Not much to really say about this one. The 120mm Barrage, it's smaller than the 380, so there's less risk factor when it comes to teammates, but you know, it's not that great still, and it's a bit easier to take out heavies and outposts or nests, but uh, I would still say that if you're gonna use this, that you call it out as it poses a pretty big risk to your team, and it's still not as effective as some other things at doing like heavies, crowd control, or taking out bases in general. So I would definitely recommend calling it out, uh, especially if you're gonna bring this with you uh, pretty much on any mission. This next one is the Orbital Laser. I gotta admit, this is probably one of the coolest call-ins within the game that you can get, at least in my opinion. This reminds me a lot of the Hammer of Dawn from the Gears of War series, if you have ever played that. Uh, most probably have, it's, it's pretty decently old by this point. Uh, but it's pretty good at most things. I wouldn't say it's great, only because this can take a bit more time to take down some targets, and has a focus priority on heavy enemies, so depending on where you throw this, it can be very effective, or it can do just okay. This one requires the right situation to get the most use, one benefit is that it's relatively safe to use next to teammates, as it will usually avoid them most times, and it's not really going to take them out unless they run directly at the enemy or straight into the laser beam. They're usually pretty safe. Next, we have the Orbital Walking Barrage. This can do decently well as a stratagem when used correctly. It's meant for bases and pushing into objectives mostly. It can be used for other things, but those are typically the best ways to use this. This one is going to work a lot more consistently than the 380 or the 120 barrages as the pathing is a bit more predictable. This is a decent pick as it can do pretty much all of the categories well with a good placement. I will say that it can pose a decent risk to teammates, especially since it does have a bigger radius. So again, I would say with one of these, a callout is recommended before use, but it can be really effective in the right hand. 
Next up, the Orbital Rail Cannon Strike. This one is really meant for taking out a heavy or an outpost quickly. This has next to no crowd control, and you won't really want to use this unless there is something big to take out, like an outpost or a larger enemy, such as like tanks and chargers. Uh, the one thing I noticed that this sometimes struggles with is Bile Titans. It will one-shot them sometimes, and others it just won't. So keep that in mind when you're using it to deal with them. It'll do a great deal of damage if it doesn't take them out, but something to still consider. The risk factor for this is next to none. You really have to try to get taken out by this thing. Uh, so there's very minimal risk when using this. Next, the Orbital Gas Strike. This one is better at crowd control than anything else. You can rack up a decent amount of kills with a decent placement of this thing, so it's great for that. It doesn't take out a heavy target even after they have sat in the actual gas post impact, so I wouldn't recommend bringing it for that purpose specifically. This can also take out a nest or outpost with the actual impact of the strike, but the gas itself won't if it's nearby, so it has a few different uses. I would say this poses a decent risk to the team, but you can heal through the gas, so it's actually really manageable and not something you really have to worry about even with a pretty bad placement of this, so it's pretty good. Lastly, in the orbital category, we have the orbital precision strike. This one is also one you get early on and is a good all-rounder choice, even at the higher level. This can take out a heavy target as well as any nest or outpost that you throw this at, with the exception of Bile Titans, which I think are kind of bugged out, no pun intended. It has a limited area, so crowd control is decent on this, but I wouldn't say it excels in that area specifically. One thing to watch out for with this is the scatter modifier. With it being a precision strike, it will make this almost never hit if that is active, but it is mostly safe when a team setting and something that can be utilized well pretty much in any level or faction, so it's a pretty decent choice to pick. For the first eagle, we have a strafing run. Now, this limited stratagem is alright. It can do mid-tier crowd control. The biggest issue is that the firing path is a small straight line that doesn't hit targets very well unless there's a dense quantity of them. I would say this may perform better on eradication missions, really, and I wouldn't advise trying to use this on heavy enemies, as it's not really going to do much damage, and it's not really meant for that, to be completely honest. Though, one cool thing is, it can take out bug nests. I wasn't able to get it to do the same on automaton outposts, though, which it may be able to with the right angle, but that just wasn't something that I was able to get. This next eagle is the most satisfying in the game for me. When you place this thing in the right spot and it just crackles like a firework, absolutely decimating the enemy in front of you, it's actually one of the greatest things to see in the game in my opinion. It will require some good placement to get the most use out of it, and it is capable of taking out heavy enemies if most of the cluster actually lands, but it's more meant for crowd control. I wasn't able to get this to destroy an outpost or nest, and if it is capable of doing so, it doesn't do it very well. This is a very high risk, high reward call-in, and I would suggest you check your surroundings for your team before tossing one of these in the field. Closely related to the last stratagem, we have the Eagle Airstrike. This one is a more accurate version of the cluster and is more specific with its use case, so you'll see this excel more at taking out nests, outposts, or heavy uh, much easier than a cluster, but it doesn't do as well in the crowd control, as it's a smaller line of more precise missiles that come down, so it will take out some enemies, but most often, unless tightly bunched, you won't see an outstanding kill count with this one. The risk factor here is much less, as the radius is smaller and thus making it easier to avoid hitting a team, but a bad placement can still cause some trouble, and I would recommend checking for the scatter modifier before tossing this one out. This one is the regular Eagle Airstrike, but with a fire area left in its wake. This one is less powerful and meant for locking down an area, so you're going to see this one excel more at bugs, as it's going to get better use in cases where there are a lot of targets running into the fire that's left after the impact. It can't take out heavy targets very well, and it will require multiple uses, so I wouldn't recommend trying that with those. And it can also take out a nest or an outpost with the right toss, but it may vary depending on where you place this. This can pose a decent risk to your team if you place this in the wrong area, especially when thrown close to an objective, so be mindful where you're throwing this as it can lock you out of an objective for a decent amount of time, so just be cautious with that. Next is the 110mm Rocket Pods, and unlike the other stratagems that use a similar title, this one comes in handy a bit more. This is more of a precision strike over anything else, which will prioritize heavy targets and won't excel at crowd control. So this is something that you're going to want to try to use more on heavy targets or a nest and outpost. Sometimes it doesn't one-shot heavy targets, so I would say this doesn't excel at anything in specific, but at least it's relatively safe when used around your team. And it's an eagle airstrike, so it does have a few uses, especially when you upgrade it within your ship, so it has that advantage over other stratagems that you could choose and bring into the fight. 
Finally, the big daddy of bombs that you were waiting for, the Eagle 500kg bomb. This thing is very satisfying to look at and the coolest explosion outside of the ICBM missile, of course. I will say that it has an inconsistent hit radius in my experience, as I could be right next to it sometimes and be fine, while other times be quite far and get hit, so the team risk will vary. Despite looking like the biggest bomb you've ever seen, this is more of a precision strike than it would let on, as the further from the center something is, the less damage they will actually take. So accuracy is going to be important when you call this one in. Once you upgrade it and get the two charges and the better damage fall off radius, it makes this excel quite a bit more and it's going to be a lot more worth it when you get that. Small side note with all eagle strikes, once you expend all of the uses, they need to rearm and we'll come back with all the original uses after about a few minutes, roughly. Once you purchase the pit crew hazard pay, that rearm is reduced by 20%, which makes these come back quite a bit faster. Thank you guys so much for making it this far in the video. I do appreciate it quite a lot. This did take some time, but it was well worth it and I had a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed it and if this gave you some benefit, then consider subscribing as it does help me out quite a bit and you get to see more content like this as I will be covering Helldivers 2 as it progresses and as more things come out. So we'll be taking a look at those kinds of things as well. And if there's anything that I missed in this video that you would like to see, please let me know. Or if there's anything about this specifically that you want to comment on, please let me know as well, as I would like to hear your thoughts about what you think about each of these stratagems. And of course, again, thank you so much for being here, and we will see you in the next one.